A tecnologia pode melhorar a vida nas cidades. Futurecom All Year conversa com Celina Lo, presidente mundial da Hooks Wireless, e Roger Funari, gerente de pré-venda para a América Latina, sobre esse e outros temas. Celina, quais são as principais tecnologias que podem ser adotadas num projeto de cidade inteligente? So, there are many aspects of a smart city, um, but the most fundamental uh, technology that underlies a smart city is high-performance wireless. The city has to be a connected city before it can be a smart city. And, and on top of the um, wireless infrastructure, um, to make the city smart, all, you have to be able to derive analytics. So those are the two things that uh, we found um, to be common, the common infrastructure for a smart city. And if you look at wireless technology, um, in a smart city, clearly uh, you have to be able to support all users, including users that don't have a cellular plan. And so Wi-Fi is the lowest common denominator in terms of cost, in terms of uh, access to everybody, and in terms of performance. And so what we have found is that uh, all smart cities start with a Wi-Fi network. Como é possível reduzir o consumo de energia? So, um, there are uh, a lot of technologies uh, being developed in the uh, area of uh, smart metering um, and in the area of uh, smart cars and Internet of Things. All of them have to do with reducing the, you know, carbon footprint and, and uh, optimizing uh, energy usage. Quais são os principais serviços que podem ser oferecidos numa cidade inteligente? Well, once you have the uh, connectivity infrastructure, then on top of that, you can develop applications in all areas in smart healthcare. I mean, now, uh, actually, in, in a lot of places, you already have e-medicine, e-clinics, right, where you don't people don't have to go to uh, see the doctor physically. You can do that over the internet. Um, you also can, education is uh, one important area. Not only uh, are classrooms being uh, equipped with uh, Wi-Fi networks so that, uh, you know, over time, uh, students can benefit from multimedia learning, but also even communities like uh, libraries, community center are now uh, uh, being uh, uh, deployed with Wi-Fi services so that uh, the digital divide that has uh, been separating the haves and the have-nots, people who don't have internet access at home, can actually, the kids can go to uh, these places to do their homework and participate. You also have, uh, you know, energy, uh, you have uh, government, all the different government services, um, you know, garbage. I'll give you an example. Uh, there is a, uh, a new technology in uh, recycling services where people who put in uh, can cans and bottles, um, basically the, the Wi-Fi is built into the garbage. Uh, can where you know it uses solar energy and so it will actually um, alert using cloud-based access alert the the collection of uh, of the recycling material once the compactor is full and so since the wi-fi is built in the same garbage uh, can can be used to provide wi-fi services um, you know, we see that kind of uh, uh, multiple roles of these uh, historically dumb devices. They are all becoming smart, right? Uh, smart bus stops, uh, smart lighting. So, you know, uh, as city upgrade to LED lighting, uh, we are f finding that we are partnering with uh, lighting manufacturers such as uh, GE. Uh, to put Wi-Fi inside the lighting so that you don't have to, uh, smart cities who deploy these lighting don't have to worry about uh, deploying separately the Wi-Fi network. Roger, vocês estão falando com prefeituras brasileiras a respeito de cidades inteligentes hoje? Como nós atendemos uh, diversas prefeituras para prover Wi-Fi nas escolas, em praças públicas, para acesso à internet, nós já temos diversas soluções implantadas no mercado nacional 
e isso nos traz um benefício de ter uma penetração maior para conversar com prefeituras a respeito de Smart Cities. Celina, na sua opinião, quais são bons exemplos de cidades inteligentes? So, uh, I would give you two examples, um, not only because they have uh, great Wi-Fi services and then smart city applications, but also because they have sustainable business models for smart cities, which is actually one big challenge. Uh, New York City just roll out uh, what they call Link NYC, Link New York City service. They... Um, are the first to roll out gigabit-based uh, Wi-Fi service to citizens and visitors in the most uh, high-density, high-travel uh, areas of New York City. The unique thing with this is that this is a public-private joint venture. Um, basically, the city supplies the right-of-way, the permits, and the uh, power for the private enterprise called City Bridge to build these uh, uh, very good-looking kiosks that uh, have digital signage on two sides, as well as a uh, charging charging station and a tablet, local tablet service, so that um, people uh, can utilize that service and the Uh, the, the visitors that are uh, within 150 feet range of the kiosk can get free Wi-Fi access. Um, and the city and the city bridge share revenue on the advertising that's displayed at the kiosk. And the plan is to for the city to benefit from $500 million of advertising revenue uh, over the next 12 years. And um, the cost of deploying this is borne by the uh, city bridge as a private enterprise. So that business model um, where this is funded by advertising is one example of how smart cities can get uh, deployed. Uh, the city of San Jose, California is another example. They deploy uh, Wi-Fi in the downtown area, in the convention center, in the uh, airport, as well as um, community centers and libraries and And, and the primary purpose for them is to drive commerce because San Jose competes with San Francisco, of course, for convention business and for uh, business head headquarters, right? And uh, what the city has seen is that the Wi-Fi network is uh, paid for by uh, airport tax um, as well as convention center um, network uh, revenue. And so citizens can enjoy the services for free. They have the fastest Wi-Fi uh, uh, airport uh, in, in the world. They also have, on top of that, um, Wi-Fi access for all the businesses. Um, they, have, uh, they can enjoy, again, for digital device, school students, other than getting Wi-Fi in the school, they can go to community centers and libraries and get Wi-Fi access to their school. Um, so if they don't have broadband uh, at home, uh, they can use the city service. Qual a importância do mercado brasileiro para vocês hoje? O mercado brasileiro, ele sempre foi muito importante. A Rucos Wireless se estabeleceu aqui em 2007 e desde então a gente tem trabalhado fortemente com vários clientes uh, de governo, de educação, de hotelaria, uh, para prover acesso primeiramente à internet e também a viabilizar serviços adicionais como os já comentados em Smart City. Sem dúvida é um mercado em potencial e muito forte para a Rucos. Eu conversei com Serena Lô e Roger Funari da Rucos Wireless. Muito obrigado. Thank you.